Jamaica. So our girl, Dimwango, the African queen, she's back in Jamaica. I made you miss the yeah. lose the coat. <laughs> Guys, but Esther, be careful right there. Yeah. Baby's in making process. <laughs> he said no. <laughs> hey, finally, finally, guys. She's back home, man. My question is: Do people go back to a place that is toxic? Do people go back to a place that is not safe? Me, I love the vibe, guys. The vibe is everything. Yeah, I'm going to check over there so first where the man okay. they make it. Oh, yeah, let's go, go where they make it. it. Yeah. That you want to go on? And you're going to ask the price for me, you know? Yeah, that's what I'm I want the big ones, ones, the big pots. We are going where they make it. You know, for you to go back somewhere, for you to go back to a particular place that you had left, it means there is something. It means there is something that is deep. It means there is something that is fascinating. It means there is something that is spiritual. It means there is something that the eye cannot see. There is something deep. And so our queen, our African queen is back in Jamaica. She's not back today, but a few days, uh, a few days ago, she went back to Jamaica. You know, Jamaica. She went back to her home, you know, she went back to our home, her home, our home. And some of us have been following her. We are very happy, you know, and most of us would like to know what really drove her to go back, you know, to go back. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. This is African Walk, our channel where we discuss more about to do with we as African people. Remember our motto is one love that comes from a song done by Bob Marley. And our teachings are mainly uh, driven by the aspiration and the desire of Marcus Gave to see African people both in the diaspora and the African continent live a good life as, as far as unity is concerned. Now today I am happy that our queen is back you know and you're going to agree with me that most of us, we've been following Dimwango, especially when she's in Jamaica, because in Jamaica, you know, she's showing us a lot of things. And she is back. Jamaicans are happy. Caribbean is happy. And even us as Africans, we are happy. So all of us are happy. You know, I remember when I was young, you know, there are those cousins of yours that you liked visiting. You know, you could leave their home and the next morning, you are there again. And so our queen in Jamaica, they call her Empress. She's back. And yesterday, uh, she took us to show us Ken River. It's called Ken River, right? If I'm wrong, you guys can tell me the name. Now, I was relaxing. And I sat down and I asked myself, what do you think are some of the factors that might have uh, pushed our lady to go back to the country that she loves very much to the country that you know she's been showing us the vibe the people the food and most of us have also always been learning now these are just my observation and remember as I told you learning is not only confined in the four walls of a classroom you can learn anywhere that is what is called observation learning you remember even uh, Christopher Columbus, when he was trying to purport that he discovered Jamaica, he came and observed, you know, he came and observed. So that is what we call observation learning. And so today I've got some few observations that I think as a person, and these are just my opinion, uh, my facts. And even you guys, you can give us your facts over there. To me, I think these are one of the things that made <coughs> our sister, our queen, impress Dimwango to go back to her home. You know, because to her, Jamaica is home. Number one, you remember, guys, last time I talked about Martin Luther King. And history has it 
that Martin Luther went back to Jamaica, you know, and then after a few years, he went back. And Martin Luther King, one of the best orators, one of the best influencers, people who moved this world, said that whenever he's in Jamaica, he feels like a human being. Whenever he's in Jamaica, <clears throat> he feels like somebody. Could you also say that Dimwango, our queen, has realized that whenever she's in Jamaica, she feels like somebody. Whenever she's in Jamaica, she feels like a queen, an empress. And so she leaves Jamaica and she realizes that some of her parts are missing. You know, some of her, of her, of her you know, uniqueness are missing. And, she was, and, and, and so she has to go back, you know. So to me, I think Jamaica makes the our queen complete. You know, and she's, uh, she's fallen in love with that country. And that's why you'll find that she leaves, go to another country, then after a few days, she's back. So that's my first point, that Jamaica really makes her happy. Number two, I think Jamaica is addictive. It's addictive. These are just observation. You know, these are just observation. As I've told you, I'm doing what's called observation learning. We are seeing, then you're learning something. All right? I think Jamaica is addictive. The vibe, the people. Me, I love the vibe, guys. The vibe is everything. We are going to check over there so first, where the man okay. make it. Oh, yeah, let's go where they make it. Yeah. You want to go on? And you're going to ask the price for me, you know? Yeah, that's what I'm I want the big ones, the big pots. We are going where the man yeah. make it. For the culture, the environment. And you can see when Dim Wang was in that country, the way she's vibing with people, you know, and, and, and her friend Esther, the Jamaican lady, you can see that vibe, man. And, and yesterday when she took us to that river, you could see all those people and even the Rasta man, big up to him, who was taking them through. You can see the addiction, that country. I personally have not yet landed there, but I can see the addiction. So to me, number two, Jamaica is addictive. And so the addiction attracted Dimwango Dim back. It's a magnet. That magnetic field in Jamaica, it pulls you back. You try to move away, but it pulls you back. <laughs> hey, ladies and gentlemen, it's getting hot here. It's... <laughs> Number three, uh, what also made our sister to go back? I have said earlier, we'll agree that Jamaica is a second home, you know. Her original home is Kenya. Her origin is Kenya. But let's agree that Jamaica is Dimwango's home. So, you know, if you leave your home, you have to go back. So, our queen has gone back to her second home, you know. And you can see that that is a place that really, really suits her. That is a place that really compliments her. That is a place that, you know, you can see that she's not forcing to be in Jamaica. In fact, like today I was watching uh, one of her video when she's going inside uh, the buses and you can see how she, she's interacting with the locals. So one, uh, another point is that that is her second home. And unique in its own way. But guys, honestly, if I've ever been to a country and I don't mention it, just it's never that serious. But honestly, Jamaica is my I favorite. I Jamaica I stole it. my heart. And I've never been anywhere in the world for four months. Yeah. But in Jamaica, I did. <laughs> and we can see even with the gains. Let me tell you, I would see her on Instagram and she's like, oh, I'm gaining and it's showing. And I was like, I can't see this gains that this baby is talking about. But when I saw her walk in, <laughs> I knew the thing. The food. <laughs> you need to come and know the food. I the see you eating the plantain. Um, yes, plantain. Do you ever see plantain one? in Kenya? Mm, <laughs> rarely, rarely. So another thing, our queen has realized that Jamaica has so much to offer. Now, you've been seeing. Sometimes I react on these comments that are being uh, written and given to us by Jamaicans, and they're telling us, you know what, ladies and gentlemen, you don't know the thingo. Jamaica has much to offer. And I think that, you know, like sometimes you go to different malls and then there's always this particular shopping mall that you like, you know, because when you go in this mall, there is like almost everything under one roof. Under one roof. You need Adidas. You get it. You need, you need, you need uh, 
Hamels, you get it. You did Nike, you get it. You did Water, you get it. <laughs> so, our queen has realized that Jamaica has got much to offer, you know. And like the Jamaicans say, this country has got much to offer. And it's, tr it's true that most of us have not yet seen anything. So our queen left Jamaica, but she realized that this country has much to offer. And we as Africans are crying and shouting and telling her, we need, we need more of the Jamaican vibe. So because this country has much to offer, our queen has to, like she has no otherwise. She has no otherwise but to go back to the Caribbean. Which country? Ja, make, yeah. So I think that uh, Jamaica has got much to offer. And then another thing, our queen has realized that we Africans are, are really in love with Jamaica. You know, like I've said, man, and I'll always repeat this. We're influenced by the Rastafarians, you know, the reggae, you know, the people, you know. This country has got the most famous people in Caribbean. Let's be honest, they come from Jamaica. Let's not argue about that. Facts. The most popular people, the most popular culture, you know. And so Africans, we love Jamaica. And so our queen has realized, for her to also please us, for her to continue knowing the tingo, <laughs> she has to go back to Jamaica, you know, because most of her followers were also from uh, Africa, South Africa, Kenya, Uganda, Tanzania, Ghana, Nigeria, you know, we are in love with Jamaica. And so if she looks at her people who have been watching her and following her, she realized that most of her people love Jamaica. So she has no other reason to go back to Jamaica. And uh, we are going to agree that, uh, you know, this country has a lot, a lot influence in Africa. Another thing that uh, really made Dimwango to go back to Jamaica is the vibe, man. Let's agree. If you look at the vibe that Dimwango has when she's in Jamaica, that vibe is massive. That vibe is deep. <clears throat> and so, again, our queen had no otherwise but to go and reunite, reunite with the vibe there. Look at her when she's talking to Esther and, and, and working with Esther. Look at Dimwango when she's with Kino. You can see the bond and the vibe. Look at her when she's in Trenchtown, you know. Look at her when she's in Kingston, you know. And so the vibe there is great. So our daughters realize, you know what? She has to go back to where her vibe, you know, that is what is called in biology ecological niche where you specifically occupy and our ecological niche where her vibe emanates from where her vibes trickles down where her vibes are intrinsic you know where her vibes are natural it's jamaica so our queen has realized you know what she has to go back what about if i said the food what about the food uh in jamaica has also made di Mwango to go back you know because where the influence of jack food it's Jamaica. And so that food is so is so sweet that our queen has said, you know what? I have to go back, man. I have to go back. I have to go back. So another thing is uh, also about the treatment that uh, D. Mwango gets in Jamaica. Let's be honest. I remember there's an interview that uh, D. Mwango did with Sean Arwa. And she, she confessed and said, you know what? Whenever she's in Jamaica, they treat her well, you know. And they give her treatment of Empress, you know. And let's be honest. We're human beings. We want to be loved, man. Love is also a basic need, you know. When you show people love, they're happy. When you guys show me love at the comment section, I'm happy, you know. And so, Dim Wango, to be honest, she receives a lot of love in Jamaica. And sometimes, if you realize that that love is missing, you go back, you know, to the drawing board. You go back to, your, to get your compass direction. And so, our queen has gone back to where she's loved. And you can see a comment section. Let's be honest. You know, sometimes when I talk about Jamaica, the people are like, you know, you're just, you're just talking. But if you look at the comment section, Jamaica is really supporting our sister. And, and, and they really love her. So that is a place that she gets impressed treatment. Even me, there is a place that I get, you know, a king's treatment. I'll go back. You know, just like I've said, there's some hotels or some restaurants. Sometimes I visit. And the way you are treated... The way you are served, I'm telling you, you are going back. Ladies and gentlemen, we are heading to the right direction. And I would like to give a shout out and thank uh, the Caribbean guys who are trying to ask me more about Kenya, you know, who are trying to ask me about, you know, the land in Kenya, 
who are trying to ask me about the food prices in Kenya. I can see the love you have for Africa. I can see that whatever we are doing about repatriation is real. And those of you who are thinking that we are joking, it's okay. But those of you uh, who are trying to support us and trying to ask us more about Africa, trust me, I am very happy. Just like when I ask you about Jamaica, when Jamaicans are Caribbeans, you know, you guys you ask us about Africa and which is the best place, what can you do when you come to Africa. We feel that, you know, whatever we are doing out here, like in the YouTube channel, we are heading to the right direction. And wherever Marcus Gavi is, he's very happy that, you know, at least his vision is bearing fruit. Ladies and gentlemen, we as a people, we have to unite. And I'm going to repeat this and talk about this. Because we can do a lot. We are the greatest. Trust me. And so when the matrix sees us uh, divided, the matrix is happy. But one day, when we come together, when we come together, I'm telling you there's nothing that can defeat us. Nothing can defeat us. And so to my Caribbean brothers, I love you all. To our brothers in America, we love you. Canada, we love you. You know, South America... You know, we love you, Asia, our brothers there, we love you, and all the parts of the world. For now, I appreciate you guys, and the love you're showing, I appreciate it. Let's talk tomorrow, same place, same time. For now, my people, I love you all. Goodbye.